I don't need to tell you how good quesadillas are, but if I had to guess, you're making them wrong. I'm here to show you the right way. You might think I'm crazy, but I do know what I'm talking about. I used to work at Moe's and we would crank out thousands of quesadillas. You can go as big or small as you like. I think a good eight to 10 inch tortilla is perfect for a single size hearty serving. If you're doing this for an appetizer or a snack, you could use like a six inch and that's perfect. I'm gonna start by buttering the outside. You just want a very, very light coating of butter along the outside. I've got a large cast iron skillet set over about medium to medium high heat. I'm gonna go ahead and set the tortilla straight down and let it all heat up together. I think a common mistake people make is only spreading cheese on half the quesadilla. We're going all the way around. I'm gonna do a combination of sharp cheddar and pepper jack. Now when it comes to the fillings, you're only gonna put those on half. I'm gonna do a little chicken, a little black beans. I try to make it a complete meal. You know, you got your protein, your veggies. We don't wanna flip it prematurely, okay? You want all that cheese to be melted because once we flip, it's pretty much done. So we're just letting it toast up on the outside. You don't want a flimsy underdone quesadilla. That makes me crazy. Once everything's melted, it's probably the perfect time to flip. You're gonna start with the cheesy side over the filled side and then flip the whole thing. Crusty, golden, not underdone. Those little cheesy bits around the edge. And then you just go maybe another minute or so and it's done. Crispy on the outside, gooey, melty on the inside. That hot cheese is going to heat up any of your fillings. So it's okay if the fillings were not really hot when you started. We like to set up a buffet style, let people build their own quesadilla. The cheese is really gonna heat up those fillings. Crusty, looks pretty perfect to me. Let's cut her up. Now you gotta cut the quesadilla in triangles. It's just part of the experience. With an eight inch or smaller tortilla, I usually just cut it in three pieces. You've got this hot and crunchy quesadilla. I love something cool and creamy to go with it. So I'm a sour cream kind of girl all day long. A little guac, and why not? Some pico. I forgot to tell you an important step when it comes to cooking it. If you do want to add some last minute toppings like olives or fresh jalapenos or even lettuce, do it right before you flip it and it'll be perfect. It'll stay cool and crunchy with that warm center. You can see even as it sits here, it doesn't get flimsy. I promise you this really is the perfect way to make a quesadilla and don't let me catch you making it any other way. Now where's the margarita? 